Hi there. You probably have questions about your rubber flooring. Don't worry, you're not alone. Today, we're here to answer the top four rubber flooring questions. Let's get started. How to clean rubber flooring. Rubber flooring is super easy to clean and doesn't require any special tools. First, give it a quick vacuum to make sure you get rid of any crumbs or dust. You want to make sure that you're using a vacuum without a bar beater. Second, you want to use a damp mop or cloth with some mild soap and water. As for gentle soaps, we recommend Tide Laundry Detergent or Dawn Dish Soap. We also have our own rubber floor cleaner and degreaser. Just a warning, you don't want to use any oil-based or solvent cleaners, such as Lysol, WD-40, or Pine Saw. They'll break down the product over time. Stick to the mild soaps. Number two, how do I get rid of that rubber smell? Unfortunately, rubber smells, and some rubber smells stronger depending on the type of raw material it's made of or the binder used. And that unfortunately tends to make it smell, well, like rubber. But here's the deal. The smell will wear off over the next few days or a few weeks after you install your rubber flooring. If you want to speed up the process, we recommend giving your flooring a nice wash with mild soap and water. This will help reduce that rubbery smell a bit more quickly. We also recommend that you have some good ventilation in the room where you're installing your rubber flooring. So go ahead and open up some windows, maybe even some spans, and that will help disperse that rubber smell a bit more quickly. Number three, can rubber be used outdoors? Yes, it absolutely can. Our rubber flooring was absolutely made to be used and abused. You can use it as playground flooring, patio flooring, or even outdoor gym flooring. But there's a couple things you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind. First, you'll wanna make sure that your rubber flooring is UV stable, meaning it can be out in the direct sunlight. Otherwise, your rubber flooring can fade over time. Second, rubber is water resistant, but rain and snow can often contain salt that can get into the pores of the rubber flooring. And last, temperature causes expansion and contraction. Be prepared for your rubber flooring to shift during those seasonal changes. Number four, can rubber be used as garage flooring? Yes, it absolutely can. You're gonna to wanna to keep a couple things in mind though. First, you'll want to use our rubber rolls rather than rubber tiles. Rubber tiles might come unlocked due to the torque under the vehicle tires. And second, Rubber can handle a lot of car fluids, but you want to wipe them up quickly to keep the floor from staining. Car oil should be avoided as it can break down the rubber over time. And that's it. We hope this helped answer a few of your questions about rubber flooring. If you have any more questions, please feel free to give us a call or start a live chat. We're happy to help. Thanks for watching.